Hey everybody, Jim the Tabletop Engineer here and welcome to a new episode. In this episode, I'm going to conclude the project that began where I wanted to make a, um, I'm calling it a cannon. It's a sci-fi cannon. I'm going to throw an image up here so you can see the, uh, the original idea. And of course, my final look does not look exactly like that, but you'll see most of it. So let's get to the tabletop. I'm going to show you how I painted it up added all the greeblies to get it looking like this. Let's get to the tabletop. I began this project by first painting the entire cannon in a light gray paint. Then I went over certain sections with a darker gray. I chose gray because I'm going to be using some brighter colors later and the, the gray and the dark gray will allow those colors to sort of pop out. I also used a uh, paint called Canvas. It's a kind of a dark tan. I painted that on what I'm calling the barrel armor. And then I also painted the top of the legs with this color. I then took some painter's tape and used it to block off a strip on each of the four feet. And this strip will be painted uh, the electric blue. That's almost the same color of the painter's tape. I painted each of the four legs the uh, bright blue and then immediately took the painter's tape off. I do this before it dries. It's, I seem to get a better, um, a better straight line that way. And then I painted a few additional details on the, um, on the cannon with the electric blue. I took an army painter's paint called Plate Mail Metal and I painted the barrels as well as part of the base. Then I cut some pieces of embroidery mesh, also known as granny grating, and then I glued these on the left and right of the blue strip on each of the four feet. Next, I went back to some decals that I had printed on vinyl. These were yellow and black stripes, and I glued them on the back of the gun. Each month, Bexham's Bazaar RPG and Wargaming Magazine provides gamers with articles, props to print and cut out for players, mini adventures, new monsters, and much more. Look in the description below for details on how to get a few free issues so you can see what you're missing. I returned to the granny grating, the mesh, and cut different pieces in different colors to glue in different places along the cannon. Here they're going on the, uh, I guess, the arms of the barrels that hold the barrels out away from the main body. I also uh, cut a piece out of a sort of a tannish, dark tannish color that goes on the very top. I cut some gold pieces of the mesh and glued them on the back of the uh, the armor that sort of like maybe, I don't know, venting. Really it was to obscure the mess. <laughs> when you looked up in where the armor was glued onto the barrel, it was a lot of hot glue and it just didn't look good. Uh, it didn't look clean. So I used the gold or copper colored mesh to cover that up and hide it. Next I took some blue painter's tape and I cut uh, strips that were the same width. I used a uh, small cutting board to make sure the widths of the uh, strips were the same. And I wrapped two around each of the barrels, not near the tip of the barrel, but more towards the back. It just, it, it was a nice accent that went with the blue paint on the feet and the back of it.
Next, I went to my junk drawer and just grabbed a bunch of electronics uh, components uh, from there. These always look good uh, as just little bits of greeblies and greebles to glue on to, uh, to your models. Here I used um, headers. These are just uh, things that you would normally solder wires to. Um, I just uh, glued a strip of them along the bottom there. Looks really technical. And uh, then I added a couple more uh, pieces um, to the face just to give it some character. I found this, this is a sort of like exhaust pipes from an old remote control toy. I cut it apart uh, and glued it on the very back of the, uh, of the cannon. It was just missing something and this just seemed perfect. It even turned out to be the right angle to glue onto the back rear piece. I went back to my vinyl stickers because something was missing on the legs and I cut out uh, four strips and ran them up the, the middle of the leg. And I wasn't quite certain if this was going to look good, but I think ultimately it turned out really cool. It's, it still matches the uh, stripes that are on the back of the cannon too. And then I went back to some mesh and cut some odd pieces to glue on the armor. And here it is. I just rotate it around so you can see it in all its glory. I may not be done with it yet. I may glue some pieces on that side armor. I'm just not sure yet. Sometimes you have to know when to stop and I'm not feeling it yet, <laughs> but I may just call it complete right now. There you go. That is it. Um, not much, not much to this, just uh, stickers, a paint job, some granny grading, blue painters tape and some junk bits from my junk box here. Um, I hope you like it and I hope you'll consider trying your hand at making one of these and if you do I'd love to see it. Alright, this project began when I got an email from someone asking if I would do more videos where I share an image that I get online and turn it into a real object. Believe it or not that happens more often than not. I get a lot of my inspiration from like video games and art that I see on the internet, either fantasy or sci-fi, uh, I'll just try to be a little more uh, alert next time to grab a screenshot so that I can share it in a video so you can see my inspiration and what my final result looks like. That's it for this video. I will uh, be back next week with another one. I would like to remind you to press the subscribe button below. It's the little bell. It'll notify you when I have a new video out. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Uh, I also want to invite you to come and join the Tabletop Engineer Facebook page. Uh, we post photos, we have discussions, we sh ask questions, all kinds of stuff like that. So please come and join us there. Please also come and join me and my fellow five guild masters over at the Tabletop Crafters Guild. We are approaching 35,000 members and we are growing just constantly. And it's fun to interact with people on that page because we all enjoy the hobby of crafting for our game table. So please come and join us over there. And then finally, uh, I would like to ask you, if you like this video and want to see more like it, please do consider becoming a patron of mine. You can go to patreon.com slash the tabletop engineer and all this information is in the description below. And for just $1 a month, you can become a patron of mine. You'll get early access to crafting videos like this. You'll get access to patron only videos where I do live crafting and discussions and meet and greets and things like that. I also do giveaways. I have prizes and stuff like that. And I have some special giveaways for patrons uh, after uh, they've been a patron for a certain amount of time. So look, at, look in the uh, description below for more information on that. I'd love to have you as a patron. And for those of you who are already my patrons, Thank you very much. You are what are helping me to continue to make more and more and more videos. All right, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.